was I asking? Was I, what were you saying? <laughs> oh, uh, being a stranger or feeling an alien. Um, yeah, I mean, like, I guess <coughs> when I was like when I was a, when I was like a kind of teen or like, when I was much younger, like I was deciding to find like uh, my own space or my mm-hmm. community, if I can say that. Mm-hmm. Like find a space that I can be like not treated or feel like I'm a stranger, because I mean, my color always still like I'm a different so. In school and everything, like I was treated differently. I knew that, like I was different. I, I was exposed to that all the time. Like every year at the school, in my public school, like they used to uh, ask questions. Like, if you're an Egyptian, you have to answer this question. They take you away for like an hour. Then everybody knows that you're not from here. And then the question starts from all the students. Like we're from, you know. So just always like this is like what the case, and. <coughs> I thought like, so when I first started to do painting, like I was really focusing on the identity, my identity, like as a Sudanese, and I was like really forming it to my work. And it's funny thing, like I did my first show in Cairo, and it was a painting, and like uh, everybody came to the show was like asking me, "Where are you from? Oh, your work looks different. Oh, you're from Sudan. Hmm, that's experience." And I thought, okay, that's why I'm here. I find myself, find my identity. And then when I went to Sudan, I took a first time I went to Sudan. It was like <clears throat> when I was aware of things. Uh, it was like 2000, and it was it was really shock for me because I was feel not, not belonging at all. So it's not my expectation. And also, like I had a, sh- I took a part of a show, and. Uh, because my cousin asked me to take part in that show in Khartoum so I, I applied, I did a painting and I went there and the creator asked me where you're from oh your work looks so Egyptian, you know it's Sudanese so I feel like in you know in both places that even they could not consider me like from I'm from there and actually I was talking to my teacher and like um, he was a really interesting guy and <coughs> he's like a Libyan artist who lived in Cairo for like maybe 40 years and that we had a long discussion about identity and like because I feel like I'm lost here because I always thought like I'm belonging somewhere else but when I was there I found out like I, I'm not even belonging there so it's the idea of like being a stranger or being not not Be like water. Hmm? Be like water. Be like water with the service. It was what you said, uh, Bruce Lee, so you can match in every place. And actually, what's Ahmad Obama said? I don't know. Like, his like, religion is like water. Like, it takes the form of the land, of the, of, of the, uh, of the service. So, just the same idea, like, be like a water. And I understand what you said about like Moroccan living in in in, in, in France. No, they are French from the Moroccan French. origin. But uh, but they still they are yeah. have Moroccan origin and this is a thing. Like if French like I was born in Egypt, so I was like Egyptian culture like I'm Egyptian. My birth certificate I've, I was born in Cairo. But I was all the time I'm I'm like I have a distinguished feature that tells like I'm not from there so even they're French but they have more condition and have more Moroccan background and I what I feel like they have to go back home and then find the identity you know and then you find the your identity was was really like a small like surrounding which could be like your parents or your mother <coughs> and also the families are forcing like I was forced not I mean I was not so like I was not allowed to speak Egyptian Arabic in my house when I was a kid the only students are Arabic, only our, only our Darja, like the food, everything have to, like we, do, we never. My mother never cooked Egyptian food until today. So like you have to, you out have to circle. Out of resistance, you mean? Out. I mean, is it? I don't know if it's resistance or just try to keep the identity, you know, or just you know. Yeah. And uh, so you have these two environments. Like mm. you go with your friends somewhere, but you're home, you're somewhere else. 
and then you just get lost in the middle and once you try to form yourself so either like you try to like really stuck to your the original identity of being like really like Sudanese you know or you're denying it but then I, I don't know um, also the, the difference between being Sudanese and Egyptian well, it's a question of um, culture but it's not in most of cases a question of religion in Europe it is a big question because you have uh, not only uh, different culture you have another point of view completely different to it's not only religion no 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 I know, I know, no, no, no. Of, of course, no. but I mean for for French people and for European people it's more um, the difference is higher or bigger if you if you compare the the, the religion because then at least in Spain, we have a lot of things in common with the with the Moroccan people overall. No? Uh, concerning culture, concerning language, mm -hmm. concerning uh, gastronomy, a, a, a lot of things. However, they have, or we have lost, and we see just what they see um, is separating us instead of what we have in common. Mm -hmm. But then in France, between. Uh, I don't know, since the 50s or 60s, the integration model, it was, you have to change your name. You have to take a French name. And they said that one of the problems, for me it's a, a stupid question. Because, uh, you know, for Spanish people, because I, I had a very good friend of mine in, in Lyon, he, he arrived in the 60s from Spain to, to France. Mm -hmm. and he told me, I remember when I was a child, how I was insulted by French uh, uh, children <coughs> because I, I wasn't like, like them and he his name was Francisco and now his name is Francois Francois and the name was Pinero and now it's Pinero yeah yeah but these uh, are these are really different situations than what Amaro no, is talking about no 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 why because it, it <coughs> French people think that it is enough to change your name <laughs> and it is not well, that's just as long a as you look alike, that's a formality. No, but you, you like if you have if you look if you're coming from a different race, it's a difference. No, that that's the problem. Yeah. They thought that the problem is you cannot uh, convert into uh, a French uh, name Mohammed. It is yeah. not possible. But as you said, they didn't realize that it is not just changing your name that you are going to become a French yeah. citizen. So that's why a lot of people then. Uh, the problem because uh, of course a lot of them don't want to be integrated and uh, then so there are some policies that are against the, the, the integration they prefer to to keep them in, in ghettos um, and not to integrate them in, in Ceuta we have also some problems at the end what happened with politicians they don't want to uh, confront the problem they just prefer to to see uh, as far as possible, yeah. but can that can be more more dangerous because at the end people don't feel like someone from that place. Uh, at least in France, also there are well, people who has some success in business or, or, or even in culture. They are not considered. Uh, they are accepted because they think that they are a little bit like like them, no. And, uh, and the problem is also that uh, uh, people from Moroccan origins, they don't want, at the beginning, they don't want it to be uh, perceived as a Moroccan people. Because for them, some of them, they see that they have less uh, freedom, uh, there is the question of their religion, uh, they, don't, they don't want to know nothing at all about uh, 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 Morocco. Then what happened when they realized that they cannot be accepted completely, they started to look for. <coughs> exactly. And they start to come to Morocco. Mm -hmm. And they start to, to discover the culture and all the amazing things that they have, but they could, I don't know why, if, if it is because of the French society or because of the, <laughs> the parents, uh, that maybe they came uh, because they were hunting, I, I don't know, be, because another difficult situation. I guess pause. Now they're looking for post. something that doesn't exist anymore. They're in between. 
and uh, I wonder if they really discover and explore the culture in the way how you see it. I wonder about that. It's a lot of uh, Moroccan immigrants, uh, first, second, third generation immigrants, they do the same. It's family visits. Not so much about retrieving a culture. Well, it's the same if you have Dutch people who immigrated to Canada or whatever, and they keep certain traditions that don't make sense anymore. It becomes like a small island that, yeah. that, no, but that look, no, no. exaggerates its own culture that has nothing to do anymore with the original context. But. Uh, of course, it, there are not a lot of people, but some of them. Sarah Hadou, she's uh, uh, French-born, and, and now he's spending more and more time in Morocco and working, doing art uh, based on, on the tradition. And she told me, "No, I, I'm discovering my my country. You're French." Exactly. In Ceuta, we have. Uh, a little bit of problem because uh, in Ceuta people used to say that if you are Muslim you are from Morocco mm -hmm. and now it's more usual now you are I'm from Ceuta I'm uh, from Spain but I'm Muslim uh, what's the problem of course some of some of them see that uh, as a problem yeah. but others no and I can tell you when I, I a long time ago I was visiting the north of Spain so I met some people, and at the end, ah, let me uh, write here down your address, so I'm going to send you some letters. And uh, when he he saw my name, Carlos Perez, ah, you are from Ceuta, no? Yeah, ah, you haven't a uh, Muslim name? No. You cannot speak Arabic? No. So it was uh, for me. It was. Uh, very very surprising no the the idea of that people can 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 have well, I was interested in this idea of otherness because of the this with uh, Foucault and the heterotopia and the garden it's it's mm -hmm. also named as a category of other spaces and like through the other you um, first of all learn yourself but also learn um, complete the, the view of the of that world or enter another world mm -hmm. but that's a different I was wondering if there's maybe any relation or how does that relate to the otherness that we exp otherness in this context I guess otherness is maybe more like um, fluid fluidity in its meaning concerning the different contexts that you move through politically speaking oh yeah I'm a bit lost there then you know when when it is completely different if we because it is not about uh, about the nationality but even if uh, sometimes you have heard that I say I'm African, identity is identity, not nationality. No, mm. If I say I'm African, it is not just because uh, to to make a a joke. I mm. feel like an African, and I feel that I'm my way of thinking and my relation with uh, overall because it's the, the nearest country, Morocco, is closer than the one from any other people in Spain. Mm -hmm. Because I have uh, I grew up with with that culture, not just uh, uh, in the other side of the border, but also in Ceuta. No? Mm. Um, and sometimes talking with people from friends of uh, Tanger and Tetuan, we feel that uh, we have a lot of things in common in the way of thinking, compared even to the people from Rabato Casablanca because of the Strait of Gibraltar. No? Mm. But can't we have like uh, a identity cannot be it seems to Are be such a narrow sub narrow definition of the word. I mean, identity is much more, much many more layers, no? Many more. Yeah, but also uh, maybe in some years, what's going to happen with the the difference between being being uh, from a, a country or being from Europe, which is a large. If Europe still exists. <laughs> yeah. But uh, what I mean, I realized when I was living in, in Germany, 
a long time ago that uh, we were in class people from different European countries and other from American country. I I feel we have I feel the, the difference between Europe Europe and and yes. America, no? Yes, so but the that Greek community in New York, for example, maybe feels closer to a Greek a Greek person in No but that's I different. Wonder, actually. Well, that's also an interesting model of migration and how they deal with identity. No, but you you can find people in France that naturally they tell you I'm I'm French from Algeria. <laughs> Why French from Morocco? Mm. Which is maybe an, a new concept <coughs> of being from one country and another. <laughs> because it is true when you don't feel accepted, you start to create problems. I, I remember an interview to Gérard Mortier. He, he passed away several years ago. I, he has been considered one of the most important uh, di uh, di uh, director for opera houses in, in Europe. And he, in his two last uh, years, he lived in Madrid. Mm. And at the beginning, he, he came from the opera of Paris. And they asked him, why do you want to, to come to Madrid, which hasn't the same uh, opera culture like in, in other biggest European city. No, I just wanted to to have the opportunity to, to live in Spain, to learn Spanish and to learn more about this culture. Uh, that was an interview uh, two or three months uh, uh, after he started to work and uh, he did that in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Six months later, another interview, uh, they just uh, asked him how he felt now uh, he was if he was uh, happy to be in Spain or many other things but uh, it was something I, I loved when he said now I understand better European problems you know what mm -hmm. but you are living in Madrid yeah 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 but uh, the problem most of the problem we have not the only is that the we don't accept something from the past. Uh, for him, the Renaissance, it didn't uh, start in, in Italy. It started earlier in Spain mm -hmm. with Al-Andalus. Mm -hmm. and, and because of that, we never accepted this period as an European peri period. Okay. So if Europe don't accept his Muslim and or Arabic as you you want to tell uh, roots, we are not going to to go forward. Totally. And that's something that maybe that's you you can say from Germany. I don't mind. It's nothing related to me. But yeah. in Spain, I can tell you it is the way people think the Islamic past is something that belongs to the past. It's like the, the other day with uh, Younes. It's, it, what you see, it doesn't exist anymore. For yeah. them, it's just a building that someone built, and, uh, the but uh, not anymore. The, the, the opportunity I have in Ceuta, when I see Islamic architectural heritage, it is something that it, it, it is happening now. Mm. And it is the same thing when you visit some places here in, in Morocco that it didn't belong to the past, it is from the present. So, but in Spain, they don't care because uh, also well, it's more complicated because of the relation between neighbor countries. But uh, concerning what is happening in Europe with the terrorism and how people try to. Mm, to confront people one to each other it's uh, it's what if the the main problem we have now no? because we don't accept the other <coughs> i mean to accept the other first you have to know yourself yeah but and then 
who we are, the other. who we are, especially in in Spain or in the south of uh, yeah of, of Spain or on the half south of, of Spain. If we don't accept our Muslim roots, exactly. So if you don't accept yourself, that's what I say. So how like you have so to know yourself you, you first. It, it's like the 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 cases where uh, immigration in Europe they are Muslim but they don't accept. Morocco, it, but it's in Ceuta. In Ceuta, mm. the more racist people you can find is Muslim people from Ceuta against Moroccan people. Oh, you people from Morocco, go away. <laughs> yeah, we European now. That's funny. I guess because you don't know yourself, so you isolate yourself from the other. That's like I have no connection with the other. I don't know them. Like I'm myself, and then you don't, you don't read yourself because at some point there's something goes wrong. Like there's a connection. Yeah, that's, but that you can see that from the individual, and you can see that from the perspective of a nation, right? Yeah, with the nation, it's much bigger. Because yeah. Individually, you can try it personally. I yeah, find yourself, but as a nation. Or as, as a community, as a group of people, like, it's much harder. Yeah, well, then you come back to the colonial past and uh, the consequences that had not only in the benefit of an economy, but also concerning the, all the other crises and, I don't know, the system of today, how the world is functioning. So. Yeah. Because the problem, again, is to accept yourself. I also That's remember in, in France a program about the relations between Algeria and France. And it was a discussion between uh, people from the culture. Mm. And it was uh, an Algerian writer that uh, said, uh, till the moment that uh, we, Algerian people, accept all the atrocities we did, yeah. as well as the French people do the same, we are not going to yeah. to resolve our problems. Yes, so because it it is always the the other who make the mistakes. Of course, it's easier to blame the other one. 